I've been pretty fortunate that I've been able to build a lot of different models of Jeeps over the years, and I've pretty much checked every single box of any Jeep model that I have ever wanted to put together, except for one. There's always been one that has eluded me over the past 20 years of building off-road rigs, until now. Now one is a Willys Wagon. So originally I found this Willys wagon on the internet. I was surfing one night and I basically found uh, this awesome looking 53 Willys wagon. It was sitting on a suburban frame and the guy had it all mocked up. And I just sent him a message. I simply said, hey, if you ever wanna sell that truck, please let me be the first one to know. Whether it's done or not, I want it. And uh, he sent me a message and he was not gonna finish the project. So I told him, I said, yes, I want it, no questions asked. So I bought it sight unseen and the only problem was it was in Yuma, Arizona, which is basically as far southwest as you can get from Tennessee. And uh, then I had to go figure out how to get it. When I got this body from the guy in Arizona, he had a completely different plan for this. He actually was welding this entire Willys wagon onto an old Suburban frame. So he basically cut out all the structure from the body because he was kind of going to make it into a unibody. I have a different plan for this. So I had to go ahead and replace all of that structure inside of this thing. And I had two options. I could find original panels or I could just sort of modify some structural steel, which is what I chose to do because it's just easier. So I added some two by two and uh, some additional angle iron bracing and I still need to go in and brace the body up some more in some key spots. The biggest change I wanna make to this thing is a pretty custom move right now. And that is the Willys wagon body, they kind of like flare out at the bottom all the way along. And I want this to be perfectly straight up and down because of the fenders I plan to run. So my plan is, because there's no firewall here, is to basically cut these pieces that he had put in already. They're basically like a little rock slider. I'm gonna cut them and then heat them up. And I think I can just pull the bottom of this in and I'll end up with a straight line. We'll find out. After taking a few measurements off the firewall, I'm gonna cut a new one out of some 18 gauge steel on my fast cut CNC plasma table. This ensures that the edges are good and straight. That's gonna take a little massaging to get it in, but eventually it's gonna be ready to weld into place. Step one, firewall is in and it looks good, but I wanna do something different here. So, I mean, you could just come straight across here and attach a flat plate here, but cars have these things called footboards that kind of go up at a little bit of an angle. So it would come across and kind of go up and it gives you a place to rest your foot. But uh, if I'm gonna do that and the rest of this floor, I wanna put like bead rolls and stuff in it. And I don't have a bead roller, but I know a guy that's got a bead roller. So that goes at the center of that, that goes tube? At, yes, that's, and we'll make a longer cross line when oh, we do gotcha. the actual sample. Yep, okay. Look at you getting all precise. See, Two the, inches. You, you got the bug. Uh-oh, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> you can guide and turn at the same time. It makes complex shapes. I saw that. That easier. is cool. Yeah, it's neat. All right. All right. Cut this and bend this up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Let's that way that. you got two flat mating surfaces I for like your... That. Rosette welds. Okay, so let me do this then. Go like this until that is like 90. Mm-hmm. Oh, right there. Yeah, and just like that, I got a footboard. This is the start of the Willys Wagons floor. I've got to get some strength back into this body, 
So I'm gonna build a floor substructure out of some two by two 16 gauge square steel. To make sure that it's good and square, I'm gonna put the entire body onto my Artec Industries fab table and then add in all the main pieces. Then it can be skinned with some 18 gauge sheets of steel, of course, with more bead rolls, now that I got a bead roller. Super happy to get the floor done in this truck today. I think I ended up with exactly what I wanted. I wanted basically a raised cargo area, fender wells in the back, and then have my buddy Kevin come over to help me put all these bead rolls in here. That definitely gave me the look that I wanted. This really wasn't that hard, it was just time consuming. Had to make sure I had a good structure underneath, built that all out of that two by two 16 gauge, and then all the floor is now tacked in. There's obviously still some work to do. I'll have to deal with all these edges, probably put some filler in here and some seam sealer, but for today, this bad boy's done. We'll see you next time here in the Big Tie Garage.